Welcome to Louisville Water Tower Park in our new series, Louisville Water Works. Each time we meet, we'll share a short video lesson, and then you'll get a chance to do an at-home challenge. Did you know the water tower at Louisville Water Tower Park is 185 feet tall? And did you know it was part of the machinery needed to get water out of the Ohio River? It's true. This amazing piece of art and architecture also served a much bigger purpose for water production starting in 1860. In this room were giant Cornish steam pumps. These machines, along with the standpipe inside the water tower, were used to pull water from the river and push it to the reservoir. So you see, the water tower served a much bigger purpose, but we can all see it's really an amazing piece of architecture too. From its massive columns to the statues around the bolstrade, this classic revival style is truly something to see. And guess what? It's the oldest standing ornamental water tower in the United States and a national historic landmark. Now that you've learned about how the Cornish pump works, we're gonna learn why we have the water tower. It takes a little imagination here. This is the Cornish pump. This is the water tower. This is the reservoir where we store the water. When the Cornish pumps worked, when the plunger dropped, it would send a surge of water through the pipes and see how it would come out just kind of squirting. That's not good for the cast iron pipes. It would have broken the pipe, all that pressure surge, because we just imagine there are like 400 gallons per stroke. So back in England, they decided on a way, they figured out a way to even out the flow of water from the Cornish pump. They hooked the pun pump up to the water tower, and as the plunger dropped, it sent the water into the water tower, sending the water in up the pipe to the reservoir and coming out smoothly. And that's why we have the water tower. And now, your challenge. Your challenge for today is to build your own water tower at home with products that you may already have around the house. We've built water towers from Jenga blocks, foam blocks. We've built a water tower-ish from marshmallows, spaghetti noodles, and toothpicks. And you can even use things you have around the house like uh, toilet paper rolls, paper towel rolls. I'm sure you have a lot of those hanging out. Um, one of the best things about building a water tower is being able to knock it over when you're done, maybe eat a marshmallow, but be sure to tag us at Louisville Water Works so we can see what you've done from photos to videos and share them with everybody else. 